Welcome to Norton Chemistry. Today we're going to be doing redox and oxidation numbers exam questions. Feel free to go ahead and do the exam questions and then run through the video for your answers. I'll put the link in the description below. So question one, magnesium nitrate decomposes when heated as shown in the equation. So you can see that two magnesium nitrate is going to magnesium oxide or nitrous dioxide and oxygen. Using oxidation numbers, show which element has been oxidized and which has been reduced when magnesium nitrate decomposes and then state the change in oxidation numbers, including all signs. So if we write the equation down here, it will make it easier for us to assess the change in oxidation numbers. So for magnesium, in magnesium nitrate, magnesium always has plus two, oxygen always has minus two, and then we can find nitrogen because minus Minus 2 times 3 is minus 6, times 2 is minus 12. Minus 12 plus 2 for the magnesium is minus 10. So we need to get to 0 because it's a neutral compound. So then nitrogen must be plus 5 because plus 5 times 2 is plus 10. Then in magnesium oxide, magnesium is going to be plus 2 and oxygen is going to be minus 2 and that adds up to 0. And then in NO2 we can find nitrogen because oxygen is going to be minus 2 times 2 which is minus 4. And then that means the nitrogen must be plus 4 because there's only one nitrogen atom. So that adds up to 0. And then oxygen on its own is simply going to be 0 because an element on its own is just 0. So we can see that nitrogen has been reduced from plus 5 to plus 4 and oxygen has been oxidized from minus 2 to 0. Remember the definition of oxidation is the loss of electrons and the definition of reduction is the gain of electrons. Question 2. This question is about compounds of magnesium and phosphorus. A student plans to prepare magnesium phosphate using the redox reaction of magnesium with phosphoric acid H3PO4. So you can see that 3 magnesium is reacting with 3 phosphoric acid to form magnesium phosphate and hydrogen gas. In terms of the number of electrons transferred, explain whether magnesium is being oxidized or reduced. So magnesium as an element on its own is going to be 0. And in magnesium phosphate, we have four oxygen atoms multiplied by two, so that's eight oxygen atoms. And each oxygen atom has a minus two oxidation number. So that gives us minus 16. We know the magnesium is always going to be plus two. So that means that magnesium is being oxidized from zero, so it's losing two electrons. The student plans to add magnesium to 50 centimeters cubed of 1.24 molybdenum cubed phosphoric acid. Calculate the mass of magnesium that the student should add to react exactly with the phosphoric acid. Give your answer to three significant figures. So we can first find the moles of phosphoric acid by using the equation moles equals concentration times volume. So we have these concentrations and volumes here. So 1.24 molybdenum cubed multiplied by 50 centimeters cubed divided by 1,000 to convert to decimeters cubed is 0.062 moles. And then if we look at the equation, we can see that we have a ratio of three to 2 magnesium to phosphoric acid. So to find the moles of magnesium we have to multiply the moles of phosphoric acid by 1.5 which is 0.093 moles and then to find the mass we have to use the equation moles equals mass over MR and then we rearrange to find the mass which is mass equals moles times MR. So the mass is going to be equal to 0.093 mole multiplied by 24.3 grams per mole which is 2.2599 grams but to three significant figures because we are given three significant figures in the question that's 2.26 grams. Iodine can be used for the small scale purification of drinking water. Iodine reacts with water as shown below. So iodine reacts with water to form hydrogen iodide and HIO. Using oxidation numbers, explain why this reaction is a disproportionation. So first we need to remember our definition of disproportionation, which is when the same element is both oxidized and reduced in the same reaction at the same time. So that means that iodine must be both oxidized and reduced. And we can see that it starts as zero in I2 and goes to minus one in HI because hydrogen is always plus one unless it's in a metal hydrogen and it goes to plus one in HIO because oxygen is always minus two unless it's in a fluorine compound or a peroxide and hydrogen is always plus one. So that means that to get to zero, iodine has to be plus one. So we can say that this reaction is disproportionation because iodine is both oxidized from zero in I2 to plus one in HIO and reduced from zero in I2 to minus one in HIO. Chlorine is used to purify water on a large scale. State one disadvantage of using chlorine for the purification of drinking water. So one clear disadvantage is that chlorine can form chlorinated hydrocarbons, which are known carcinogens, so they can cause cancer. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out my acids exam questions, which should be in the bottom right hand corner now. You can also visit my website to purchase my notes and flashcards. The link will be in the description below.